Police say the chase ended at this intersection when the kids collided with a patrol car, then led police on a foot pursuit. And it's just getting crazy out here. We are absolutely fed up with it. Some Baltimore County residents <laughs> reacting to the skyrocketing number of vehicles stolen by juveniles, up by more than 542 percent from January to early May this year compared to the same time last year. Uh, one of the situations I heard about was from a child up to 11 years old, which is what is an 11 year old doing out at night? You know, uh, an 11 year old should not be, no, no child should be in a position where they're committing these crimes. Um, they should be acting like kids. The latest car stolen by teens resulted in a high speed chase that began around 1.35 a.m. Friday at the intersection of Eastern Avenue and Stemmer's Run. Police say it started after a patrol officer attempted to stop the vehicle for a traffic violation. Turns out, a 15-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl were cruising in a stolen car. Part of it is, is because of uh, the social environment, uh, peer pressure, uh, the lack of uh, adult figures in their life. Authorities say the teens then bailed out of the vehicle and led officers on a short chase before they were caught. They then asked for medical attention and were treated and released from a hospital. <laughs> I was raised different. We got out, we got beaten. <laughs> you can't beat the kids now. They just getting worse. Residents of the Sussex community where the chase ended are at their wits end with juvenile car theft in general. Community leaders have put out warnings, descriptions of suspects, and advisories on theft prevention. We're tired of, you know, being the victims of these juveniles who don't care, who don't have um, parental supervision. The teens are charged with vehicle theft and eluding police. Reporting from Essex, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.